welcome to Storytime with Susan. Today we're going to read Belinda by Pamela Allen, published by Puffin Books. Belinda, written and illustrated by Pamela Allen, read to you by Susan Burke. Bessie and old Tom live in the country. Early every morning, old Tom works in his garden. There is always plenty to do. He grows cucumbers and carrots. He grows pumpkins and parsley. He grows beetroot and beans and lots of other vegetables. Early every morning, Bessie milks Belinda the cow. There is always plenty of milk. She gives some to the dog. She gives some to the cat. She puts some aside for old Tom and herself. With the cream, she makes the butter for their bread and the skimmed milk she gives to the pig. One day, Bessie packed her bag, put on her hat and coat and went to stay with her daughter who lived in the city. She left old Tom to milk Belinda the cow, make the butter and feed the dog, the cat and the pig. Old Tom got up very, very early. He took the bucket and the stool and set out to find Belinda. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock. He sat on the stool and placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. There's a good girl, he crooned. Belinda gave one almighty kick. Old Tom flew high in the air and landed with a thud in the mud. Belinda was off and old Tom was off after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting, around and around and around they went until old Tom was quite out of breath. What was old Tom to do? There would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom and no butter for his bread. What was old Tom to do? He went to the shed and took a rope from the wall. Then he went to his garden and pulled up the biggest, fattest carrot he could find. With these, he set out to catch Belinda. crooned old Tom. There's a pretty girl, fat carrot, fat carrot. Come, come to old Tom, there's a good girl. Moo, answered Belinda as she cautiously, carefully inched towards the carrot. Moo, bellowed Belinda as she snatched the carrot from old Tom's outstretched hand. Oh, cried old Tom as he landed with a thud in the mud. Belinda took off and old Tom took off after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting, around and around and around they went until old Tom was quite out of breath. Now what was old Tom to do? If he couldn't catch Belinda, he couldn't milk Belinda. And if he couldn't milk Belinda, there would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom, and no butter for his bread. What was old Tom to do? He thought and thought 
and thought and thought and thought. At last he stood up and strode into the house. He took Bessie's pink dress from the wardrobe and put it on. The dress was too big. So he took a pillow from the bed and pulled and pushed and stuffed and shoved until at last the pillow was with him inside the dress. Then he tied Bessie's apron firmly around his middle to hold everything in place. He put on Bessie's big straw hat and he pulled on Bessie's big rubber boots. In this disguise, he set out to milk Belinda. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock. She looked up, blinked, then went on chewing. Quietly, old Tom came closer and closer. He sat on the stool. He placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. This time, old Tom didn't say a word. He squeezed. A warm white spray made a ping in the empty bucket. He tried again. Squirt, 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 squirt. The milk crept up and up until the bucket was full and no more milk would come. Now there was plenty of milk. There was milk for the dog. There was milk for the cat. There was milk for old Tom and cream to make the butter for his bread. There was even plenty of skimmed milk left for the pig. When Bessie came home, she wondered how her pink dress came to have mud on the hem. She almost said, who's been wearing my dress? But old Tom had been the only one at home. And it couldn't have been old Tom, could it? And that's the end of the story.